What's up? It's your boy Rolex CB man, and today, Lord, it's been a while since I've done that catchphrase. Today, I'm here to talk to my fan base. I want to talk about my grind and where we are now. Grind is a very, very important key to wanting to accomplish something, anything, not just YouTube. And I've had a lot of grind throughout the years. It's been um, two years. But grind is something so important if you want to get to where you want to get to. Another thing that's very important with grind is consistency. I guess this doesn't really apply to everything, but it applies to most. Consistency is something that you're gonna need if you're gonna want to succeed. And I've had a lot of consistency in my early year of doing YouTube. My first year, it was like a very, very great year. 2020 was very good for me. It went a little bit down in late 2020, but it still was very good for me. For me to come off as who I am from scratch, and reach 1k within less than a year it's something not many people can do but I did it and I did it because of grind but grind is the least reason I did it the main reason I did it and was able to accomplish that was because of y'all every supporter that tuned in we're at over 2,000 now Every supporter that tuned in, every supporter that hit that like button, every supporter that viewed my video, hater or not, we got there because of them. We got there because of y'all. I took my time off several different occasions. I took my time off after my PC broke. That was the first time I ever took time off. And it killed me because that one time I took time off is the one time I didn't need to take it. Or the one time I didn't want to take it. I took that time off. But I fixed my computer up myself. It's back working. I'm recording on it now. Took that time off. Came back. Made some videos. And second time I started taking time off slightly was because... YouTube kept removing my videos without reasoning, without telling me why. I just said restricted content. Lots of my videos got taken down and it pulled me down to a place where, like, I edit these videos for hours. I put hard work and dedication into these videos and they get taken down and they can't even give me reason. Like, I was watching one of the core videos a while back and he was talking about these YouTube, like these small YouTube channels. They can't really defend themselves. He was able to defend himself and do a lot because they're big. They have that that outreach, that um, that fan base that's strong enough attention to them that where they can do something. But the smaller channels, you can't really do anything. I mean, I'm a channel with over ten million subscribers imagine this happening to someone with one million or a hundred thousand ten thousand what would they what can they do and they just swiftly taking down my stuff without telling me without communicating with me i tried to level my content down a little bit where it was like literally almost no curse words of course i don't curse in my videos i don't do anything i would not want my mom to see in my videos but as of curse words from videos I watched, from games I played, I didn't blur them out at first. Now I was starting to blur them out, get everything out that I could. And it killed me because it's not really the content I wanted to make. It takes away a lot. Not just curse words. I can, I can go without that. 
but the sensitivity. Even now, YouTube is restricting a lot of my content. Um, I don't know what that's about, but I can't watch Corey's Try Not to Laughs. I can't watch certain videos. I'm like, I'm not a child. I'm 17. I'm going to be legal next year. But it's all kind of weird to me. And from there on, that point on where they were taking out my country, I kind of was like a little bumps between my uploads a couple of days a couple of weeks it killed me because i literally used to upload every two or three days matter of fact in my early days of youtube i recorded every day every single day i had these ideas i had these thoughts now i'm like hesitant on what to record and what to put out because I don't know what's going to get taken out. I don't know what's going to attract. I don't know what's not. It's a different time now. Third time I took a break, I say, you know, I'm putting these in main points, was March or April. I think it was April. It was April 2021. I had a lot I was going on with. Like I said, I already had YouTube kind of not cooperating with me. Um, I also had a breakup that month. I had some family stuff going on I needed to attend to. It was a lot of stuff that I just got on me. I couldn't proceed with what I wanted to do. So I took time off from then. I dropped, what, one video in May. And then I think one video in June and one video in July of 2021. Now those videos were great videos. Somehow, I don't know. Y'all pulled through. For me to have taken that break and y'all keep supporting me like that, that was wild to me. I had the Resident Evil video I did. I only played the first episode. I only made one video on it. Got over 1,000 views. Then I had my Omega prank. I wanted to come up with something that I haven't seen anyone do. Most likely someone's done that out there, but it was the first for me. It was just like clicked in my head, me and my friend. And we made that video, over 1,000 views. But then again, it's a lot of stuff that adds on to getting your way when you want to do what you want to do. It was all kind of different throughout that summer, so I uh, only put out the content I really could and when I could. I uploaded uh, quite a few videos that summer, actually, but... They got taken down. I did a couple of the Try Not to Laughs and stuff, uh, reacting videos through that summer, but they got taken down. So I was like, oh, oh well. Fast forward, I come back on several different occasions, late 2021 and early 2022. And the reason I always say breaks are leave, come back, leave, is because I don't know if I'm going to be as successful anymore course you have grind but you also have things that will mess it up no matter how hard you grind you got shadow banning you got age restrictions you got all types of stuff and I don't know if I'll be as successful as I had the potential to be the first year I started YouTube I still have supporters don't get me wrong I still have supporters I still have people out there that are gonna watch my videos no matter if it's two no matter if it's three, no matter if it's 10, 50, 500, I still have those people. But I really have a big fear of the success team. But what I realize is it's not up to me. I see many YouTubers, great creators, great content, don't get no type of credibility. Don't get no type of views. Don't get no type of likes. But the videos are beautiful, great. So I've come to a realization that it's not up to the content creators. Well, it is. Of course, you have to make, you know, still content for people to enjoy. But it's up to the fan base. They're the whole reason you're here. Y'all are the whole reason I'm here. 
no matter who you are, no matter what color you are, no matter what sex you are, y'all are the reason I'm here. And I feel bad because I lost track of that. I lost hope when I should be pulling through for y'all. It's not necessary for y'all to pull through for me. It's not, you're not obligated to, but y'all do. It's crazy. All the support I got, all the support I haven't got, all the criticism I ran into, all the criticism I haven't, I'm still thankful to this day that I could even do as much as I wanted to. Beginning or now, present. I'll try my best to do content for y'all. A big thing is content though a big thing is like what content will I put out it's a lot of other stuff that people are doing already there are the people that that own stuff already that like own a series I mean of course some people want to see you play Five Nights at Freddy's because it's you but there's certain creators out there that like own that Five Nights at Freddy's videos so it's like you got to think what makes you stand out i gotta think what makes me stand out and what content can i come up with that's original that will make me stand out and i've thought of one thing already i have no idea what y'all gonna think of it i have no idea if y'all gonna like it but i'll just put it out there with the fear of failing or not failing but I'll do it because I love y'all I love my supporters I don't call y'all fans y'all know how I feel about that word supporters maybe I'll be way better than I was before maybe I'll be worse maybe it'll take me some time to get back to how I was but I'm gonna try at least I can't be sensitive and I can't be insensitive I gotta keep trying. I can't drop one video and expect everyone to be back. No, you have to work for what you want. And I'm gonna do that. I know uh, one person was telling me how I dropped considerably in views, in ratings, in likes. That's my fault and I take accountability for it. That's my fault. I take full accountability and credit for it. Yes, my views have dropped. Sometimes they'll jump start above all videos. It all depends on what you put out and who really supports you. So I'm here to say thank y'all. And I will be on that grind. I will try my best. Because I feel like if the supporters are there, if Y'all are as strong as I believe y'all are. We can be one of the biggest YouTubers ever. Make some of the best content ever. Notice how I say we, because we are in this together. But thank you for tuning into this video, and I'll be on that grind. I do appreciate the support that y'all have already given me. And I feel like it's time for me to support y'all as much as y'all have supported me. With that being said, we'll just have to see where this goes. But it's your boy Roller TV man. Make sure you keep it cool, keep it easy, keep it positive. And I'll see you next time, boys and girls. Peace.